join us today as I show you how we handle sap logistics using our automatic head tank here at Smoky Lake. Okay, now with the tank inside, we are going to put the pump in and get the head tank filling. So what we have here is an automatic head tank. This is just a food grade hose that we use. The head tank itself has a float switch in it so that as the tank runs low, it automatically sends power to this cord. And when the float switch drops, sends power to this cord, automatically turns on the pump that I'm dropping into this tank. Let's illustrate what Jim is describing. The float turns a pump on and off based on sap level. When the sap level gets low, the pump is activated. And when the tank is full, the pump turns off. And in this way, the head tank stays full all day long. I attach the hose. And I drop it in. And now that the pump is plugged in, it is pumping and filling to fill the head tank. The head tank will be full. It holds about 50 gallons. That'll be full in a matter of maybe 10 minutes. That's how long it takes the pump to fill it. And it will then start filling our evaporator so that we can fire up. Now, as this tank runs empty, I just make sure that my head tank has enough reserve sap in it to feed the evaporator while I wheel this empty tank out and wheel a new full tank of sap in. And I can do that all day long, switching tanks out without, without interrupting the, the evaporator. It'll run all day on its own. What kind of pump are you using there? So this is just a, a general purpose utility pump. It's a, it's a submersible pump. Uh, two things to keep in mind. Number one, um, if the pump is not necessarily food grade, which this one isn't, it's a general purpose pump. What I watch for is to make sure it's a greaseless pump. A lot of submersible pumps, the body of the pump is actually full of oil or grease, which helps the, which helps protect the motor from, from water, from liquid. And um, in this case here, I don't want that protection. I don't want to have a body of, of oil in this pump. I want this pump to be dry. Uh, if the sap happens to get in the pump and wreck the pump, that's fine. I, I can live with that. I can't live with any oil or anything leaking out of the pump into the sap. So it's the other consideration then is, of course, it has to fit in the, the opening of the tote. The tote has a five inch opening. So you're limited on how, uh, on the amount of, on the different pumps that you might be able to use. I like submersible pumps because they're quiet. Uh, an external pump is quite loud. It's another thing I have to listen to. So I like the submersible pumps. They're very, very quiet. Cool. And what brand pump do you use? This one happens to be a Wayne, but I don't, don't look for that. This pump isn't even available anymore on the market, but there are other five inch diameter greaseless pumps on the market. Great. Cool. Thanks, Jim. Yeah, thank you. Would you say this is what it boils down to? This is what it boils down to.